Hi, I'm Claudia from Disruption Banking Magazine. Today I'm with Tom, the organizer of CE Shared Services and Outsourcing Awards. And I would like to talk with you about SSC and BPO market in, in okay. CE. Good. How, uh, it's, how it's going? Could uh, you please tell good, us more? Good. Um, we organized our eighth year event in January for the CE Shared Services uh, uh, sector. And it's uh, evolving uh, very quickly. Um, I do a lot of travel across Central East European region. I'm in Latvia and Lithuania. I was last week in, in Bucharest and in Belgrade as well. So we're seeing how it's shifting and changing across mm -hmm. the region. It's for sure maturing. Um, everyone has a problem of staff getting the right people, yeah. recruitment. Um, and it's also very much becoming the IT technology side is absolutely dominating the needs of the recruitment side because everything's going digital, right? So all of them are grappling with how to transform further, how to automate further, how to bring in more digital uh, people that know, this, know that side of the business quickly. What we're also seeing across Poland is that Poland, of course, is obviously expanding across into the smaller cities. But what it's also doing is maturing very much and going upscale where a lot of the services which have been rote, pr repetitive services are being squeezed out, being eliminated, being automated out, and there's much more value add in Poland. In other markets where it's not EU, for example, we see Ukraine and we see Serbia, um, they are not getting the, the big established corporate yeah. bank guys moving there, but what they are getting is a very vigorous and uh, strong IT tech business. So there are a lot of uh, top tech, tech talent in those markets, uh, including Belarus as well, and they're using that kind of advantage to, to, to mm -hmm. kind of carve out their piece of the market, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And comparing SSC and BPO market, which one is growing faster? Uh, f always a question. What's <laughs> the BPO guys say they're going to take over all the SSCs, <laughs> and the SSCs say, well, that's pretty unlikely. But um, we see some of the Guys like Cognizant recently is you know, buying up some of the divisions of SSEs or a whole SSE. We've seen that in, the, in Latvia, Lithuania recently. We see it in Budapest recently. So for sure, the, SS, the BPOs are, are going to continue to strengthen um, as the processes become more automated. Mm -hmm. They'll take more market share. At the same time, SSEs keep coming into the market. We saw Standard Chartered last year, um, uh, guys like JP Morgan, um, State Street getting bigger, yeah. bigger, bigger. Um, so uh, in Budapest, we've seen Exxon Mobile, Morgan Stanley um, getting strong. Um, Amazon has just launched a new uh, operation in uh, Bucharest, focused on the Alexa yeah, phone, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is quite interesting. So it's changing very quickly. Um, it's exciting. Uh, and each little, each part of the Central European region has its own advantages, and they're yeah. using those to kind of get market share. Yeah, yeah. And coming back to Poland for a second, yeah. like um, we know that the best uh, environment for shared services now is Krakow, Warsaw, and Tree City, and maybe Wrocław and Katowice. Which city is next? Oh, uh, I've heard some gossips yeah. about um, Rzeszów. Well, Poznan. I don't know if you mean Poznan is very oh. strong. Not to mention Poznan has really a lot of a uh, lot of uh, SSC too. They're doing very very well. Um, Jeshuf, of course, is uh, getting a little bit. It's just, it's a bit smaller town, of course. It's a little bit difficult to get more more people there, but I think they also understand that they their natural advantage is the tech the, is the uh, what's the word I'm looking for aviation aviation mm -hmm. aviation valley things. So they've got some very big global aviation giants there who have come in from manufacturing yeah. helicopters, etc., and they're using that advantage to get more SSCs from that particular sector. Mm -hmm. So that's a very smart way to dig into that sector. Then there's some other cities who I think are not doing enough. I think Szczecin is not doing very much. No. They should be doing a lot more. Please, they should really <laughs> wake up a bit, in my opinion. Um, and then a few other cities are, are very strong. Wuch, I don't know if you mentioned Wuch, mm -hmm. continues to get strong. A lot of developers moving in there. So if the developers are building offices, they're smart guys, mm -hmm. they're not doing that to have them empty. Yeah. So we're going to see also some more push from the Wuch side because it's proximity to Warsaw. It's almost becoming where someone yeah. can migrate, uh, can, can travel between the two cities very, very easily. Yeah, yeah. and I've heard that Bitgosh has really strong cyber teams. Bitgosh doing great, um, keep also strong on the technology side. They know that very well. They're very active um, at international events and conferences. Uh, when I make when you mention Bitgoat, makes me Bitgoat makes me think of Todun. Also, mm -hmm. Todun could do a lot more. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. We don't see them doing enough. Um, I think they're missing some big potential. Um, but Bitgoat has got it figured out, and they're pushing all the time. Yeah. 
When we are talking about Toru, um, one of the blockchain startups uh, yeah. moved uh, one of the offices, the coin firm. Oh. And uh, are the shared services using the blockchain technology right now? There's definitely a lot of talk about it. There's the, the AI conversations, the blockchain conversations. Um, I think there is uh, a, a, a huge exploration process going on. How many of them are using it yet? I, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. I know that they're all thinking about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what about recruitment challenges? As you've mentioned uh, IT people. Yeah. But what kind of IT people? Java developers probably? Well, <laughs> you guys know the details on yeah. the recruitment side and the, the, the details on the, on the IT recruitment. So I won't get into that because mm -hmm. I just uh, won't be able to answer that question. But um, certainly the overall theme is IT, IT, tech, tech, digital, digital. And for sure it's a voracious appetite globally, worldwide. Everywhere we go, it's not going to stop, it looks like. So um, you guys uh, with, the, with the recruitment side yeah. on the IT are, I think, well positioned for that. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Sam. Yeah. Thanks.